Hey YouTube, it's your girl. Welcome back to my studio fix. Okay, so I wanted to come through because I just realized I hadn't done my June favorites. And I was like, I thought I had done those. But anyway, I want to come through and show you guys a couple of my favorite things that I have been reaching for or things that, um, first of all, I've been doing a lot of traveling. So, most of the things that I'm going to show you are things that I have used while I've been traveling. And a lot of the things, I have used them up because it's July and I'm just doing my June favorites. Okay, so, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing I want to show you is this, um, this bag. It's a roll. And you, roll, R-O-L-L. -L. <laughs> and you can get these from, um, Walmart, Target. There are a lot of stores that carry these. And they are these Velcro little bags. All of them are connected. It's just this one long organizer. And I love being organized. So, um, this is a great, great asset to my collection of things to help me be organized. Now, I got this from my mom because she had given me some uh, other little cosmetic cases before and I never got this piece to go with it. So, I happened to be at her house and I saw it and I said, mmm, taking that home. <laughs> so, anyway, um, and anybody that knows my mom knows that she has everything you need. And what does she always say? Oh, I got what I need. So, this is something extra in her house. Anyway, long story short, um, this is one of my favorite things for for the month of June. This is just actually one of my favorite things, period. Um, it has these little zipper areas right here. And you just put your things in there. And then, what's so great about it is, you can see through them and... Being that you can see through them, you don't have to like open each one of them up and look through and try to find stuff. So this is one of my favorite things. And of course, I love the zebra print that's on it. And I just really like it. And when I'm not traveling, and even when I am traveling with it, I usually hang it up in the bathroom or here. I hang it up right here in my uh, dressing area or something like that. So that's my first thing. So the next thing... Um, that I want to show you. Uh, let's see. So every morning and every night before I go to bed, I use Noxzema to wash my face. So after I use my Noxzema, I use this. Now I picked this up because I wanted to put it in my uh, little travel roll. And I picked this up to put in my travel roll. So I'm going to actually show you the small version because I haven't even picked up the large version yet because the small one is just it's so much product. So here it is. It's this Pond's uh, Rejuvenate, Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Now, I am a woman of a particular age. Now, I'm not over the hill, but I'm getting close to it. So, um, you know, I'm really conscious about taking care of my skin, keeping it moisturized. And even young, young ladies, you all need to, you know, really look into getting something that you can use to keep your skin moisturized and to, you know, just keep your body rejuvenated all the time. So anyway, this is what I use after I wash my face with the Noxzema, then I will use this Pond's Cold Cream. And I hope you guys can see it. Um, and I just put a few daps on my skin and just rub it in real good. Um, and yeah, I use this every night and every morning. Okay. And it's, it's really good. And like I said, this is a travel size. And I've been using it for a while. And it's still, I know you probably can't see that. But it's still a lot of product inside. So... I really, really like this. Also, like I said, I wash my face with Noxzema at night and in the morning. And when I get up in the morning and wash my face, I use the pond. And then I use this. Now, this is um, the Walmart brand of this product. And I really, really like it. I started using it because my mom was using it. And her skin, her face was just almost flawless. Like... She wasn't using it on her neck. She was only using it on her face. And you could tell the difference from her face and her neck. And it was like, man, I need to really start using it. Now, even though it says anti-wrinkle cream, it's really good for anti-wrinkles, you know, to get rid of the wrinkles in your face. But it also helps with, like, I have really dark under eye circles. And I've used a lot of products to help with that. But um, this seems to be one of the better products. The 
other good product that I use for that is just drinking water. The more water I drink, the um, my eyes aren't as dark. I'll just say that my eyes usually aren't as dark. Maybe that's in my head, but I really believe that. Okay, so but anyway, back to this. It has an SPF of 15, so it's really good. Even if you're going to be outside, it doesn't matter. Just use this. This is really good. I suggest it. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so moving on, because I'll be on all day talking about that. Um, I just pulled the last one out of this. Uh, but here's my next thing, these Neutrogena makeup removers. Now, a lot of times I will just use baby wipes to wipe my makeup off, and then I'll go behind it with this, and then I'll use some witch hazel, which is another favorite, but I didn't bring it into the um, into this video because it's just a staple item that I use all the time. So, um, but anyway, I use these Neutrogena wipes. I have them everywhere. I just happened to pull this one out before I started doing the video, so the package is empty now. But these are great, and you can get them in this travel size. So if you want to just try them out and see if you do like them, or if you would want to see if they're good for your skin, you can buy the small pack first and try them out. All right, so moving on. Oh, I'm wasting some. Where is the top? I don't know. Um, this is my bio oil. I really like this. Um, I use it for a lot of different things. Now, I use it mostly around my stomach area, um, uh, down my torso. I use it in all of those kind of areas. Sometimes I will rub it like around my neck and things like that, but I only do that at nighttime. Um, this is a really good oil. It really feels good. You know, my skin feels hydrated when I use it. Um, I don't use it in place of a lotion or cream or anything like that. I just use it in addition to it. So, this bio oil is really good, really good, really good. Hope you guys can see that it's a bio oil. And I picked this up at Walmart. Okay. So, the next thing, again, because I've been traveling, I picked up this Johnson's Baby Care Lotion. I really like this lotion. Like, a lot of times... We kind of forget about old school <laughs> lotions and creams and stuff because we get so caught up in using things that are like the latest thing to use. But going back to using this uh, Johnson's Baby Care 24 Hour Body Lotion, it is really good and it feels really soft on my skin. Um, and I even like the smell of it. It's just a nice soft baby smell. But I just like the smell of it. So this is one of my favorite things. Okay, so when I want to wash my brushes, um, usually I'll use this. And again, it's a Johnson's product. And I have this small one because when I'm traveling, I use the small one. I have a large one also, but I use this small one when I'm traveling because I like to keep my brushes clean even when I'm traveling. And I use the MAC or... um. What other brush cleaner? The Sonia Kashuk, I think I use that one too, and one other one. But I always like really give them a good clean with this because this is a mild shampoo. It's for babies, so it's a pretty good shampoo. I use this to clean my brushes, so this is another another favorite of mine. All right, so um, for those of you who go to beauty supply stores, uh, not chain stores, not the chain beauty supply stores, but just regular beauty supply stores where when you walk in they sell everything from jewelry, hair products, shoes, clothes, shades, they might have anything. It's, I got this. Now, I'm a big cocoa butter user. I think cocoa butter uh, is really good. It's, it's really good for a lot of things and over the years I have been exposed to cocoa butter if that's a good way to say it uh, and this one is a hundred percent cocoa butter so it's just a, a yellow stick they call it the cocoa butter the yellow stick and it just pushes out from the bottom like so and it's just you know you just rub it on just like that or on your face if you want to use it on your lips if you have a scar on your arm or something and you want to just rub it on the scar and um, a lot of times the cocoa butter will help kind of smooth that scar into your skin I don't know it's it's like magic sometimes <laughs> so I really like those um, the next thing I want to show you are my two favorite mascaras for the month I've been using this um, Maybelline the Flo Flossy 
falsies, I'm sorry, the falsies, I've been using this for a while, I really like it, but I happened to be couponing one day and got a chance to get this L'Oreal telescopic uh, clean definition. Now, I'm one who usually gets the waterproof mascaras because I'm like, I wanted to stay on all day, I want to look good, but over time I've realized that just because it's waterproof doesn't make it any better or any worse than another mascara so I when I got this I thought I probably won't be using it much because it's not waterproof I don't, I'm probably not gonna like it but what I did was I used this one first I would use the Maybelline falsies first and then I would put this um, L'Oreal telescopic on top of it and I found that I really really liked it and I would put the falsies on first and while it was still wet I would go ahead on and use the L'Oreal now with this L'Oreal what I really like is the brush let me show you guys the brush I hope you can see it <clears throat> I really like this brush because it's kind of separated, but it, it's separated enough that it can get those little bitty lashes, and I really, really like that. Really like it. As a matter of fact, I have it on today. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have it on. Um, okay, and I hope I didn't scare anybody getting too close to the camera because it is late. Well, it's not late. It's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Um, okay, so last two things I want to show you guys that are my favorites are these bronzers. One, I have already shown you guys in a haul video when I did my haul video and I showed some things that I had gotten from Wet n Wild. And this one is Ticket to Brazil. And when I rubbed it, I was like, ooh, I really like the way it feels. And so when I used it, I liked it even more. And like I said, it's the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil. And these can be found at Walgreens or any of those kind of stores. Now, this is a Sonia Kashuk. I think that's how you pronounce it. I always just say Sonia Kashuk. <laughs> and so, this is Goddess. And it's in 40. Let me open it up so you can see it. And it, again, is a really, really great bronzer. I have really enjoyed this. Um, I In the summertime... I really don't wear a lot of makeup, so when I do put on, I'll put um, concealer under my eyes, some powder, a little contouring here, here, up through here, and then I'll use the bronzer. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. I love it. So, uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, those were my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I had to show, and I'll be seeing you guys in another video. Um... Any questions, comments, make sure you leave them below and have a good one. Peace, love, and stay fly, ladies.